can you take away from this one down the stretch in terms of the learning opportunity? Uh, just being locked in at the end, I mean, you know, y'all seen the game, a couple bad plays, you know, from me and a couple other of our players. So probably just watch the film, lock in on that, and then take it to the next games or whatever games come in like that. A little different playing with like 25, maybe third quarter, something you guys haven't done much this year as opposed to some of the close games you played later where it's kind of back and forth in the fourth quarter. Right. Uh, I feel like, yeah, it's kind of tough being up 20. You don't know if you want to. You know, running gun team, so you don't know if you want to keep going or you want to slow down a little. So I feel like we just got to pick, watch, and then we go on from there. You had a good one tonight on offense, especially early. What were you doing, if anything, that was kind of get yourself going? You had a nice one in the first quarter in 20 and a half time. What were you able to do in the first half to kind of get yourself going, especially in the offense? Uh, I feel like just play the game. You know, I pick, pick and chose my spots. Uh, I don't even know what that. Oh, yeah, four threes and floaters and stuff. Yeah, I was just picking my spots, I felt like, letting the game come to me. You guys had 28 assists on your 44 field goals tonight. What did you see from the ball movement, especially the first half, and how did that help you guys out when this game pulled out? Yeah, for sure. When the ball movement was big, I mean, people was setting the screen rolling, you know, hitting them in the hidden corners, so your ball movement was, was nice. Two of your highest scoring outputs this season have come against this team. Is it? Something about the Pacers, or what is it about them that's kind of allowed you to, to have these high scoring outputs against this guy? Uh, I don't know. I just came out tonight. I feel like I wanted to be more aggressive and stuff, so I feel like it was kind of on me. Just play pick and choose. When you have a lead like that in the third quarter, how easy is it to lose your edge as a team collectively? Uh, I mean, you, hmm, yeah, being up that much, I mean, like I said to his uh, question, Running gun team, you don't know if you want to keep running or you want to slow it down. So I feel like just right there, we got to see what we want to do. Well, that's a that's five in a row for you guys. Um, what do you feel like clicking right now? You know, maybe it wasn't you know, during that losing streak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I say the defense. I feel like we all locking in on defense now. And kind of in the beginning, we wasn't really, you know, too in tuned in it. So now I feel like we lock in. Well, you guys didn't have much success in the last road trip. What did you guys learn from that trip that you could maybe have more success on this one? Yeah, I'd probably say defense. What about on the offensive side of the ball? I feel like we've been good on offense. I mean, we got a lot of uh, weapons, so I feel like our offense just going to happen. It's going to really be the defense, and defense to generate offense. So Good win. I thought we played well over, overall. Um, found a way to close it out. We move forward. There's a lot of growth opportunity here, and we'll we'll uh, we'll look at it. But fine performance, I thought. You know, to build that lead, I thought we played extremely well. Some of our best basketball of the season, probably for two and a half quarters. So I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to watch that, teach through that. There's a few things we got to correct down the stretch, and uh, we'll deal with that. Best you can tell. What was giving you guys the most trouble when the league started to turn? At least started. Just got a little sloppy there. Poor decision-making. Um, I thought we uh, got a little sloppy, but found a way to close it out. How big of a – I mean, I almost feel like this could be more of a teaching moment than a full-on win could be for your group. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I, th I think it is. You know, we – I love the way we were playing, first of all, so I want to applaud the, our guys for that. I think – you know, I, I want to make sure I say that because our guys played extremely well tonight. Um, I think we, you know, probably lost our way into the third quarter and into the fourth. And now it gives us an opportunity to teach. As I said, you know, before the game, uh, I'd rather teach through a win. So we move we move forward. We got another one tomorrow, but uh, we'll address some things and get better. Coach, the other night you said that you guys didn't finish up the rim very much. How do you feel? What's that? The other night, you guys didn't finish up the ring very much. Just a couple of bonus. How much did you feel like that at first time? I don't have the numbers in front of me. I thought we finished fairly well tonight. Uh, I'll take a look at the numbers in the in the film, but it's an area that we got to improve on. And um, as far as I could tell, without giving you specifics, I thought we finished fairly well at the rim tonight. And then uh, lastly, what did you see in those final two possessions that you guys had where uh, we all turned the ball over? Just poor decision making. Do you feel like the ball should have brought up? Last I'm sorry? Do you feel like the ball should have just been brought up the court in the last position, or are you okay with ball defense? Uh, I don't have a comment on that right now. I'll deal with that another time. Sorry, I'm going to put Mike Zalarte one question on the team.
Hey, JB, up here on the on the Zoom. Uh, you, you talk about being able to teach off of the last. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay. You talk about being able to teach those teachable moments over the last quarter and a half or so. You want your guys playing with confidence and playing with fire, uh, not playing with fire, but, you know, playing with enthusiasm, that sort of thing. How, how do you tr strike the balance between uh, with them and, and get the message across that, yes, go play, you know, go pl play freely, but also stay within what we do? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a balance. You know, you have a lead and I thought we, we got a little bit stagnant and, you know, that's something I got to look at myself to see if I could have kept them in more attack mode or tried to help them there. But um, we, we still want to maintain an, an aggressive mentality. That's what got us the lead. And I've seen this a number of times in the NBA. You know, it's a long 48 minute game and you just, you know, you're hoping that at that that time goes off and they become the aggressors and it's hard to get it back. You take your foot off the gas and it's hard to get that gas and that, that motion again. So um, you got to give them credit. They continue to play hard. They're, this is a very teachable moment, something that we can uh, build off of.